Well, it's another pick coming out as well for G2, or NIP, excuse me, onto G2, that finds him at the 5-on-3. Still going to be the sight take that needs to occur. An artist had a one very highlight-worthy clip yesterday with the operator on ascent. And now, looking at his perspective, he repositions towards the shower. That spike, of course, going down. And no brimstone on either team means that the uh, the triple smoke on the truck has to feel and look a little different. You see that dark cover covering maybe a little bit more ground than what we're normally used to with the, the brimstone smoke and David P on duty here trying to clear out U-Haul and be greeted with a shock dart. So now having to heal back up to full on the opposite side. I believe it's Fear Off now with the swing. Rhyme is going to be the one that takes that frag though, but protect, or really trying to hunt down that refrag. Recon Bolt will be taken out as well as the Silver player and now setting up that dark cover. But Detect, he's on his lonesome and the swing from hip will seal the deal there. And it's a round on the board for NIP to start us off on attack. Um, towards your favor, Get we've seen time and time again how Jet Mains have used it aggressively and it's worked out. And you can hear the old pop by Mixwell, who's going to be moving in towards short. There's targets right around the corner. How does he handle this one? Swings wide, goes for the Cypher Peak, and ends up taking out Rhyme. The shot from the Operator is just a little too late. His hand in the game. Bladestorm, of course, can also under to zero with the right click, but unfortunately needs to reset if he wants more Blades to come through, and Creel will put a stop to that immediately. Artist now in the smoke. Got a couple of shark darts, and it's the ghost that he will become, not the one in his hand. As two operators on the board for NIP, they are making it difficult for G2 to have any space to play. David P maneuvers his way in, actually, into U-Haul, avoiding that recon bolt, and they go hunting. Pith, he's going to find one, and now it's just down to David P. He's got the Sheriff. Message. Likely not going to be able to make anything happen other than finding a very crucial headshot onto the Omen, but still, I think there's two operators. He's got to play it uh, the best that he can. Going to be picking up an upgrade. That's the op. Now here comes the peak. And it's fear off. And I'll say night night. See you later, David P. Towards long, they'll be able to swing together. Trade wall goes up. Slow orb, whatever. But David P playing a little bit closer towards the tuna can. And that's actually exactly where they're coming from. NIP has done this before. They push in through hookah, but it might not be the case for them as they'll start to fall apart. A great angle that Artis had finds one. Looking for the second. The op shot won't work as Artis alongside David P will defend the B site. A great round for them. First one, to be quite honest, on the board. Oh. That boom bot rolling around over in Hookah. There's the Al drone as well. The orb coming in to try and slow things down. They're going to continue to push out because of that dart in David P's belly. He's got to move. I love the movement coming out from Hip to try to dodge the shots, but Petitech is there and he's just O2 quick. It'll come down to now three on NIP as G2 continue to play defense, but they're losing control of the site. Sh now Mixwell has showed up with that operator. Mixwell's going to find oh. three on the round. A nice shot to close things out as he drives one through the skull of Firov. Three straight rounds for G2 since they've been able to afford that big buy. In holding the other side of the doorway, though, and you can see there is one in that area getting ready to peek. Does he hold this and find that first shot, though? Recon Dart goes down. Not going to connect. The smoke comes in. There's the ult being popped as well. Mixwell's going to move back as far as possible. But in that time, they lose Pit in the sight. Mixwell through the smoke. Able to find one more. That's two on the round for Mixwell as the up player for G2. The knives come out on the ult, but can't make it work. Artis was only able to get one before being taken out of play. Paranoia coming in wow. from Potty Tech. And that will be the way the round goes towards G2. And uh, as you can see, Nip, they don't want to go down A for any longer. They don't want to deal with it. David P aggressively, unfortunately, caught throwing that slow ore, but there'll be two members from G2 to stop this push further in towards Hookah. It's Artis and Petitech who are ready with the defense. Recon Bolt's going to spot them out. They quickly take care of it, but it's an aggressive push from Firoth. He'll face a hail of bullets, and now it's the crossfire set up as Artis reloads. Petitech takes out Kriya, and they're holding on to this defense, but... Of course, may I remind you, this is Nip on a on a broken buy, so don't really expect a whole lot. Their goal, of course, is to get this spike. Two players here still feel content to go towards the B site. So you've got Sage currently back behind that dark cover in mid, low on HP. And as they go for the swing, it's another kill coming in for G2. Ryan with a nice shot, though, coming out from the Sheriff. We'll reduce the defense down to two. 
and able to pick up some guns in there as well. There's lots of firepower currently on the ground, but has to commit towards this B site or give up on the round. Wow. Ding shot coming out onto pit. It's all up to Mixwell on the site, but the clock is a problem. Oh, Mixwell no. misses the shot, has to go to the pistol. 10 HP, the time working against him. Rhyme actually connects through the tuna can. How does that round come together for NIP? Not from Mixwell that results in that round happening the way that it did. Seven seconds on the clock. He hits that, the round's over. Now, Kriya goes for the ult to get that intel, spots the one in heaven. Somehow, Mixwell gets away from it, and he wants some redemption here. Quick shot coming out onto hip. There's more targets coming through from the showers. There it is through the smoke yet again. Mixwell just too quick with the operator. It's now up to Kriya. Stuck behind the cyber cage. Five players remain for the defense. Well, uh, okay. Deploying drone. Artist, the Al drone's gonna give away all that position, but because they could see the trajectory of the drone and the sounds itself, they knew where it came from. They quickly punished with pushing in. Mixwell will connect on that first shot. Korea tries to go for the TP right in front of him. Mixwell laughs that one off. The spike will be planted, but there's only one remaining. Pitt managed to take out the last two on the round. At least they got the spike plant, but peculiar plays at times that allowed Mixwell to capitalize there. And that results on this 6 6 scoreline. Mixwell moving in through the showers. They spot one in the backside of sight. Mixwell just charges in with the pistol, but it's going to be Petit Tech who picks off Firoff, finishing that last bit of HP that was left. Mixwell wants to get closer and closer towards the Rays, who actually found two. Hit with a nade, able to pick up two kills somehow, but sight control is lost. And they're actually going to take the port. I love this. There was a rotate coming through, but they were both in spawn. So they're going to get there just in time to try to catch them as they come out through Hookah. And you can see the Cypher Rhyme not able to repeat the success we saw from him in that 1v1 with the oh. Sheriff against Mixwell. But their shots going back and forth that results in a one on two. It's Lucker currently on site. They're trying to get that spike down. They haven't yet secured it. Yeah, and now the peak comes through from Lucker, still trying to use the smoke to his advantage. One kill is going to come through down to Mixwell versus Lucker. Battle of the Operators, and Mixwell can very well get this plant down, but on the opposite side, Lucker is going to be laying in wait for that audio cue. And now with that spike starting to come through, all Lucker needs to do is wait for this wall to dissipate. Now Mixwell ready for the peek around the corner, sees the shoulder of Lucker, and oh, baby! It's the pistol that goes over to NIP. He's ready to push in. They might really start to turn up the heat. An early look from Mixwell. He's got the bulldog in his hand. And now really getting aggressive. Little does he know. There's one to his close left. His hip. And he takes him down. Sprays him with the Spectre. Fearout trying to get into a position to get this. Spike plant spotted. But now with that confirmation of the timer. Kriya trying to get a little bit more involved. The shot with the Spectre actually hits him in the head. But Patinic survives a shot across the cheek. And now David P trying to hold off with artists from U-Haul. They'll start to funnel on in, but decide to go over the APC, and now artists will be there to try to stop them from behind. Hip's gonna find one, Hip's gonna find two, make that three on the round. David P, the last one standing, the patience gonna work out as he finds Lucker still down to the 1v2, but it's the showstopper to the face. That'll give NIP another round. Aldrone over the top, not gonna spot out Hip, who's playing inside of this dark cover. The wall is gonna come in and oh, that might work out well at first, at least drops the spike, but his position exposed. So the spike doesn't get initially planted. There's actually a gap in that wall as well that they could potentially exploit. Great paranoia coming out from Petit Tech over in the U-Haul. Korea getting closer to that position, gets spotted by the recon dart, has to back off for fear of going around that corner too quickly. Goes for the peak regardless, won't win the initial battle, dark cover coming down. It's a four on four and Mixwell has gone for the ult. The blade storm popped by Mixwell and a res coming in as well to give NIP the man advantage back. Mixwell still in position with that operator, misses the first shot. They're all coming through the same way we've seen them retake before. Going up over the top of the APC. There's the ult being popped as well. The Hunter's Fury coming out from the Sova. Not gonna do any damage. Wow. As the defenders win the round, the spike was defused. Somehow they couldn't manage to make it work and NIP wins the round. <laughs> now, to be fair, everyone from NIP dies in the end, but how on earth does that happen? They were all on the site. The Hunter's Fury was popped towards the spike. That shouldn't be a thing. Position trying to get away and get around the corner does in fact do so. Rhyme just waiting for an opportunity to strike to time it perfectly. 
Oh, oh, they hear it. Artist, no, artist, no. <laughs> I think he had the recon bolt in mind, and now neural theft will make matters even worse. Can't blame artist for trying to hold on there and fear out winning that up shot against Mixwell it is not looking good the resurrection will come through but it's a shot that is actually missed time by fear on the opposite side though it's hit with one hit with two the guardian he's making it work Mixwell off to the side now going to be greeted with the operator from fear all down to pith on his lonesome one v4 i think we know how these go trying to find some exit frags but there's too many angles to look at and it's korea from the side putting us ever so close to this match point for nip under two They'd really need to work for it. Um, and so far, what they've been trying to execute has worked in some rounds, don't get me wrong. Um, but it seems to be proving to be quite difficult, and, and, and Nip is at the helm of making it that difficult. David P, though, um, throws a wrench into the plan of the defense, walks through the smoke, finds Hip, and now those Hunters, Furious, and Firoth not going to connect with anyone either. This Mixwell holding down the angle. Kriya in a great position that I don't think G2 expect as they expect to come them, uh, for them to come from spawn. And now Mixwell is going to be greeted with the op shot. That's good. Fear out as well. Just down to one final player. It's David P. But little does he know, a lot of those members are coming in from all possible angles. But that spike is starting to be diffused, or at least getting closer and closer to it. That Sage player is blocked off, and that's great for David P. Because it gives him time to heal back up. And now playing Tetris. It's the boost up, and oh, I like this play from Locker. He goes airborne, but doesn't have enough time. With the cross, as well as with Rhyme. So once they start to push in, it's going to be very difficult. Almost a collateral for Locker, but he misses them all. It's Rhyme to clean things up. Kriya as well to follow suit. And all down to Artis, and a very weird trip wire that he ends up standing on. And he's going to be revealed by the recon bolt. Tries to swing. The Spectre not going to get the job done. Firoth will seal the deal on Artis's fate. And now it is match point for NIP. There's still three players on A with one going deep through the showers. But there's the wall going down and the plant coming in. The question is whether or not the Sova is going to spot the jet on the back end of this play first. And there's the peak and it goes the way of Mixwell. The Bucky. Oh, so strong at point blank range. And now Mixwell will find himself an upgrade. A crucial one for G2 to win. You know, their goal at this point is obviously to get us to overtime. But Hip has got a showstopper. He'll find Pit. And now still the fight continues. That spike ticking down. And it's the classic boost from Lucker. But this time he doesn't really see anyone. Quick shot from him. Artis is going to be the one to fall. But Tidek with the Sheriff will get the job done. But Kriya is also going to continue that fight all down to David P. Now as his team members are starting to fall all around him. And now with the defuse coming through. Well, that's close, but I think they'll get it done. 0. 0.82 seconds left if G2 just delayed. Uh, now, of course, uh, has a couple on her tool belt as well. But uh, unfortunately, as you push mid, Lucker is going to come in from behind, open up with a headshot onto Artis. Now it's the 4v5 push onto B. They've got B-Site controller, so they think. Rhyme is still here in position. Able to spot two on the push as well, so great defense coming out from NIP to kick things off here in the first half. On Ascent Mixwell right around the corner. It makes quick work of him. It's all up to David P. The only kill on the round prevents it from being a flawless pistol victory for NIP. Head and work their way in through short through the tree room. Nice move to shoot out the window to potentially scare them into keeping their eyes on their back. Rhyme from inside hell, able to take out one before falling to David P. Firoth there with the swing as well from heaven on the bulldog. It'll work out initially. The wall comes in to try and slow them down, but the wall gets chiseled away by NIP. Locker tried to go through the window to take the challenge towards short and tree room. Doesn't work out so well for him as Petit Tech is right around the corner. And it'll come down to two now on NIP. It'll be Firoth and Kriya. Over the top of the smoke goes the owl drone, but it doesn't matter. David P sneaks inside that dark cover and will get the last two on the round. And G2 strike with the first buy round, finding success. So the deli has the cheeses. I can live without gelato. Cheese, that's like a different one altogether. <laughs> oh, Lucker. Close, but that cigar will not be in his hands. It's another shot here from Firoth to seal the deal, but as he rotates through, trying to get a little bit more information, it's Mixwell that'll be his demise. As now the door is closed and Mixwell separated from the rest of his team. Fortunately for him, NIP playing a little bit closer towards the defender spawn as things are starting to 
spiral out of control for them. And the round likely going to G2 once again. And that'll give them the lead. But at least NIP win the pistol. They win the round to follow. But now G2 are officially online and can start their dominance. We'll see how that will carry forward in the rounds to come. But Result in a man advantage early in the round here for G2. Yeah, they break that tripwire, and now that gives a lot of information over to G2. Korea, from a distance, will find Patidek. They've already escaped. It's the re-peak now from Hip, as he thinks enough time has passed, but it's the execute for G2. Only person on the site is Rhyme, and he's got a lot of members for G2 starting to funnel in. The headshot's good! One after the other! Still one more on the site. Uses the camera. Shot's not going to connect, though, as Pith will be the one that comes out on top. But it's down to the 2v2. An expensive round now for G2, but it is up to Nip to focus on the retake. Resurrection comes in for Artist, so he's back in play as Hip is trying to just ever so slowly move forward through the ice. On the opposite side, of course... It is going to be Korea that is looking to join. A couple of early shots. The sprays go down to Artis and the great repositioning there for Hip to get back into the mix. It's the fake. Another spray is good. It's down to the 1v2, but it's all along. David P swinging in from behind. Shot's going to be good now down to the 1v1, and it's all up to Korea. Does not want to swing. A pre-fire shot from David P does not net him the frag, but it's Korea looking to commit. Gets it up to half, but still needs to commit for the second half. And... David P's waiting for it, but now here comes the commit. All he needs to do is stick it, but does not have enough time. And it's G2 that win the round. What a close one. NIP almost had that. He has no clue where any of these G2 members are, so just holding close towards the generator. Sometimes the swing to the right will work out well. The swing to the left does, but it's mixed well. That'll quickly be there for the refrag. Now up to Hip and Lucker in the 2v4. Resurrection available, so they might be able to get at least Firoth back into the mix. He's quite close near the garden. And if they are able to get one more res, we'll see if that'll be the case. David P, great lurk from a distance. We'll take out Hip, and now just down to Lucker. First shot with the op, not going to connect, and Patedek will just gun and run him down. Um, we'll see if that ends up playing a factor, if Nip are able to really start to catch up uh, earlier on. But let's have a quick look at the, how this boost play is going to start to come through. It's Lucker that is now going to swing with the op, and it's a shot that's whipped from both sides twice. And as G2 push forward, they will punish some of that early aggression towards the catwalk and as well the middle. It's two now down for Nip, and uh, G2, they're feeling strong. Somehow, Firoth and Rhyme, though, able to get back into the round. Firoth as well, playing around on that cyber cage over in B, brings it back to even strength. So... A little bit interesting there as they go for that take. The spike still hasn't made it onto either site, so there's obviously options here for G2. Plant in a moment here as the jet. 40 seconds left on the clock, and there it is. I'm wondering if in that case... Well, I mean, we have got, we've got Caster Vision. There's no way that you know, but they have the Hunter's Fury. You know what I mean? I wonder if you even just blindly check, okay, are they going to plant towards Generator? Are they going to plant towards Default? But I think it's actually a little bit more out of the way. Planted closer towards uh, the actual door there. But David P will push forward. He's going to find Rhyme. A 4K on the round, and he nods left and right, and it's the English breakfast that gets dunked right on Firoth there. Another round on the board for G2. Have the res, but they've got the Hunter's Fury for G2 in a post-plant scenario that could be pretty powerful. Firoth around the corner with the Sheriff gets a dink shot, has to follow it up with a shot to the body. Players in this A site, though, being taken out left and right. Lucker using the wall again, this time going up top with the Sheriff. It doesn't work out as well as it has in times with the AWP. But there's Rhyme hitting oh one goodness. shot, make it two. Rhyme's been so good. They're going to send him oh. into the site as well, and it's now down to one. It's David P on the other side of the generator as the spike gets secured. Hip, does he get the timing oh. on the shot right? No, David P. Narrowly wins the round there for G2, and they continue in similar form. We may have seen them lose the first two rounds, but it's been all G2 since then. Like that. <laughs> David P starting to move up into the tree room. There's a couple of bodies building up on short and nice flash coming out from Korea, the paranoia. But it didn't actually result in David P's demise. It was just a dry peak that came through first. So it kept the trade from being a possibility. Hip's going to chime in with one as well over on the B site. So that'll be Artis who's now on the sideline. Mixwell had the right idea right on the other side of that wire. As he goes for it, ends up getting taken out by Korea. One of the more promising rounds we've seen from NIP in quite some time. Of course, there are still two that remain. And they're locked and loaded. Korea in a very cheeky spot. 
He's looking for the trade here from the side of Pith. He's going to find it, but still, the 1v4 is going to be very difficult for him. Around the corner, he goes through the door, and Hip will gladly guide him towards the light. Now, the last and final round of the half with Valorant. But this, I think, takes things to a whole different level as he is just decimating his opposition currently. David P, we spoke about this player just a second ago, gets high on the wall to peek through those greats into the B site, but it doesn't even matter. Artis has got the entries, so they lose everyone on the B site. It's pretty much looking solid right now for G2 until we do see Kriya come through towards mid and get the backstab on one, and a res come through as well from Lucker to bring us back to full strength three on three. Hunter's Fury is popped, and Kriya now has to get out of a very difficult position. Unfortunately, the TP not going to work out for him. It is starting to look very rough here for NIP. They're looking to push in. One frag will come easy, but there's still a lot more on the money that they need to work through. Firoth getting a little bit more involved, but has to check his blind spot. And so does Lucker, as Artis will find four on the round. 3-9, the score line of the first half. Those are good, too. That's like my number four, but you, like, I gave my top three, you know? There's a space yeah, for them I, in my top you. five. Yeah. There's the Reign of Flash to lead them in. The Leer tries to open up the site, and the defense currently crumbling under the pressure as the take comes through from NIP, and it looks fantastic. Mixwell up in heaven, trying to shift past that ice, slowly crawling his way. It's painful even to watch. Does have the dash to get back. Somehow catches Rhyme. Wasn't prepared for the repeat coming in. The smoke's going to go down as well. The Al drone doesn't do its job as it gets taken out initially. David P has found one. They're making Ow. this look easy, but there's a decent crossfire setup working out right now. It's David P in the one-on-one -on -one against Firoth. The dart's going to give away the position. The defuse is in, but he hears the footsteps, so he knows David P has pulled off the spike. David needs to find another big clutch. Oh. It's not going to happen today. Oh. NIP survive a chaotic pistol round on the A site. Talked about it coming into the series because NIP, or a G2 for that matter, has had good success on Ascent. And we were asking, are they just an Ascent team? As they go for the push-up catwalk, maybe we'll get that answer. Locker going to wow. find two quick kills. Goes for the res. Punished by David P, who gets <laughs> all three. How does this happen time and time again? David P is just a force to be reckoned with right now. And he's the only player on this team who isn't signed. G2, get out that pen and paper and make it official. And now the attack, of course, down to three. They're going to be looking towards the B site, but little do they know, this is the correct call. The only person that is within proximity is, of course, Artis. But look at Mixwell. Unfortunately, the tailwind, wrong direction, stuck on the railing by the stairs. Now Artis about to see a stampede of NIP members pushing towards this B site. Has the angle set here with the operator for his shots. Good. The dragon spreads its wings, but they will make quick work of that fallen comrade already on the site it's the 2v3 retake and here come g2 they're moving into position for the retake and yeah that's pretty much easy as david p does what david p does best a res coming in at the tail end to bring petit tech back into play i mean i guess it's a bit of an econ res there coming out herman seeding going into playoffs so do not fret. Neither team is going to be sent home. And again, this could very likely be our final. So consider this a small taste of what you might see later on in the tournament. Specifically Sunday, for those of you wondering, Sunday will be the grand final day. David P, come on, David P with three. Lucker able to take him down finally. But David P just always somehow on this map has really shown us his magic. They really make quick work of uh, the weapons that they've been given in certain situations. So maybe you can expect a couple more frags on the way out, but it's already looking like it's not going to be the case. It's, it's utility galore thrown directly their way. Um, and now NIP have seven rounds to climb back. Nothing really working out well there. Hip. Oh, the timing goes for the spike pickup. That's a problem. David P. Comes through B main, drops the spike, and makes the round that much harder for NIP. Mixwell now, all he, all they really need to do is just hold this spike down. David P and Mixwell, they've got a great cross. As the attacker looking for maybe more control of the other side of the map. But at this point, it may be just too little too late. All down to one final player. Not going to last long, but it's the dark cover that'll give 
AVP a little bit more space. Now that he hears some of those ropes come up and down. Oh, David P so close. And it's just the swing from Firoth. He will take out David P and this might open up the push towards A, but already the defense, they're in place. You do have Mixwell over towards Elbow and Petit Tech back site. We'll spot them as they fall off. Heaven the Wall comes through just in time as Locker fell instantaneously with the wall going up. It does come down to a two on two. Spike will get across onto the site. I like the move coming in from Korea. Using that port to get into position. Goes for the fight. It's going on for way too long with four HP. He decides to go back and stick the spike. He'll be down to the one on one with a dart in his stomach trying to move. Wants to just keep it there. And Pitt's going to end up winning that 1v1 in the end. It will be G2 who start off with the pistol round win. Towards this A site they go, the flash comes out, and that'll give Petit Tech time to get at least a couple of kills before being traded out by Lucker, who gets dropped by a shot to the back of the skull from the pistol of Mixwell. Mixwell's still in position in heaven with the SMG. Sight again lost. So a spike plant coming out from NIP. And let's see what they can do in this post plant scenario. They do have SMGs, so this was a force round coming in from NIP. And the force has not worked out too well for them thus far. But the double peak, net success, the stinger, and the specter go for the swing. And Mixwell taken out of the play for the time being. Oh. Nice dink shot coming out as well from the SMG. The boom bot's going to give away the position of one coming towards elbow. The difficult part is how do they handle this? There's a swing just a bit too wide, and now it's down to the one-on-one. -on -one. Does Firoth read this position of the Cypher up in heaven? And, oh, I think he disconnected. We haven't seen Petit Tech move. It's not even... The Cypher, it's a... What is going on? Very unfortunate. You know, I wonder if G2 had... If they were able to to know that something was wrong, I wonder if they would have tech paused in the middle of a round, but difficult to say. But looking at the round at hand, Mixwell makes it relatively expensive as he will find one for the round, but that judge already out of play. Mixwell... Actually, he finds one, but... Wait, sorry, I think we're looking at a different perspective. My apologies, but Tidek is the one that's sitting there in the corner. And he'll find him. A couple of shots from the opposition looking to try to take him out as he pushes forward. Rhyme and Korea will continue that gunfight as Artist, the last member, was the last member standing. It is now once again Pith. It's Pith, the Cypher. Working through from heaven, there's a target to his left. Oh, it's basically a free kill onto Korea, but does he anticipate Rhyme on the back side of the play? Starts to peek towards heaven. Good damage being dealt. All he has to do is just wait this one out. And you can see how Rhyme is playing it. The camera's going to go down. It's a bait cam. Nice. I like the play from Rhyme. Something you always love to see. You'll see it played by Sova's with the recon. Dart. The rotate not coming through just yet. The Sage is starting to rotate off of Heaven after putting the wall down. They're going to start making their way out onto the site. And now you can see Mixwell coming into position. The slow orb on spawn puts everything on Pith, who's on the site. Hit by the Satchel. Doesn't seem to make too much of a difference for him initially. It'll come down to a two on three. And yikes. This is scary if you're on the side of G2. Empress popped by Hip. So the two on three going to be backed up by the ult. The spike going to be planted with just a few seconds left on the clock around 10. Mixwell's holding the line of sight and... That did not work out so well for them at all. The sewers, and it looks like they're going to be going towards this A site where you've got Mixwell up high and you've got Kriya here as well. Oh, Mixwell, unfortunately, shot there. Yeah, so Patidek, he's going to be there. The first contact point through the smoke. Mixwell and Patidek, they'll join forces. And that last and final player, Rhyme. Mode. Come on now. Can't we just, just be nice to each other? Ketchup chips. Let's. Let's be nice to each other. And if you guys have a problem with being nice to each other, you can tag me in chat. My name is MitchManCasting, at MitchManCasting. Just tag me, spam me with comments <laughs> about me. Trust me, it's fine. There's the take on towards the A site. The shot's not where they need to be from Mixwell. Looked like maybe we'd see them crush this push, but it doesn't end up working out so well. The nade up into heaven. Gonna do a little bit of damage to artists who just can't quite escape the detonation radius. Spike's been planted on the A site in the meantime. Exactly Retake coming through. David P coming up from ramp. There's the Neural Theft being popped. David P right around the corner has a target. It's going to send out that slow orb towards the site. Artist gets one. Spamming the sign is David P. Doesn't realize how on the money he was with that spam. It all falls down to the last man standing, and Rhyme can't do much. Informational ult there by Petit Tech as the Omen. 
Priya is on the site right now, and <laughs> as the dark cover fades, he's got targets on both sides. Good luck dealing with that one. Oh, this is going to be awkward. The rocket doesn't even get sent, and that's a big problem. That's the spike being dropped now in B main. Now, David P uses the wall to the best of his ability to delay the ability of NIP from scooping that spike back up. But obviously, they're going to start chiseling away at that ice as fast as they can. As I say that, though, Mixwell has arrived with some backup here. The operator shot. It fires true. It's now down on two. It'll be the Cypher and the Reina of NIP. Rhyme and Hip trying to get that spike secured on the B site. They've got three players playing defense on the other side. David B has run completely away from this site. He's gone the exact opposite direction, running all the way over towards A. Gets caught in a tripwire over on the A site. What is happening? But T Tech is going to have to watch this, but it's working out nicely. David P has actually read this so incredibly well. He's going to get in position. Phantom in his hand. Here's the stampede and the Wildebeest. They'll swing around the corner and it's two headshots for David P. And now NIP going to be backing away. Pith playing very aggressively. Doesn't know that on the other side there's two. And now trying to escape it's Kriya with the Spectre. They'll just find frag after frag and the res as well. Mixwell on the opposite side. He's going to be flashed once more. And backs away thinking that it'll be a heavy push towards the B site. Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. They'll make their way through mid and start to go towards ropes. I think they'll hear this as they'll start to really funnel through, making a lot of noise pushing up. Paranoia from the side of Patidek will actually dissuade them and discourage them to go back the way around. I feel like I'm watching a match of PUBG as the rotates come one after another. Eventually, they'll get that spike down and Mixuo will be the first point of contact pushing forward. Promising take coming in from NIP. Looking to grab their fourth round. Nixwell trying to prevent that from being a reality. Nixwell has not only the operator to fall back on, but he also has his ult available. The T-Tech takes out one up in heaven. Ooh, dangerously close to dispatching of the Sage. A self-heal coming in from Lucker, who's on that operator role. Nixwell on 23 HP. Probably trying to just get out of this at this point. Going to be going back towards heaven. Lucker's right around the corner. Who wins the fight? It's going to be Lucker. So there's that off duel between Mixwell and Lucker working out for NIP. Four rounds on the board for them. Ultimate's available. Firoth just trying to find one more kill to give himself the showstopper. But on the opposite side, Bladestorm, showstopper, Neural Theft Resurrection. They've got a lot of tools on their tool belt to make things very difficult for G2. So Kriya is going to spot out the back of sight and actually commit to the plant there. And you'll find Patidek still going to be an opportunity for Artis to send that showstopper in. But he repositions great there from Kriya. But Pith will still find himself a frag as he exactly will swing that corner. Firoth with one and the action just keeps on coming. But now here comes the push from NIP. NIP stalled up currently in B. If they were to go towards this B site, there'd only be the Cypher here. It's Pith who's trying to get away from that Showstopper ult. Times it well. Able to drop the Sage as they come around the corner. This rocket, is it going to do damage? No, it's actually going to be Rhyme, who makes quick work of Mixwell. David P now has to be in that hero position. We've seen him have to do this before. He's been in that hero role in the past. Yeah, but he's got to deal with Rhyme here. And, uh, yeah, that's how that goes. Dylan spraying away towards B main. Artist needs a heal from David P. The attack now on the other side of that wall that's been put up in mid, and there's a hole in it currently. Waiting for that ice to just fade a little bit more. Nice, nice shot from Lucker. As the ice drops, a quick flick comes in from the operator. And again, we see Lucker come out on top of the duel with Mixwell. Fifth now going to be the first line of contact. As you'll see them rushing in, but they see him first. Hip and Kriya will open up this B site, and now it's just down to David P and Patidek. They're trying to rush in, try to stop this push forward. The resurrection onto Pith will put him back into the mix, and they'll find Kriya as well, but it's still the 4v3 and an Empress on the opposite side. The blast pack lands right to their toesies. Lucker will take out David B. Still two remaining now for G2, but that operator is just way too strong. One more peek will kind of be the money here, but there's just... Not much pith I feel like he can do. Fear off swings. A 6-6 six, six, half. Finding that last one, but already we gotta put that on pause as G2 are hungry. Pushing five towards the site. Kriya trying to reposition behind the box. So far, no frags coming his way yet. He may be taken out here as they will just swarm him. They will have a paranoia of their own hip hole. Take out David P. 
And now it is the 4v4 retaken. Unfortunately, late to the party is NIP, and they got to make sure that they get the job done right. They're going to start to divide and conquer. Two from heaven, while two go down the ramp side. And there is a tripwire there to make sure that they get identified once they push in. But a lot of members of G2 in that back of sight. Luck are going to start to push forward. Those shots aren't going to connect. It's the dark cover that'll make it a little bit more difficult. But Pip, he gets athletic, and he'll get dealt with immediately. Hip now. Trying to push with the 2v3 situation. Artists will make it a 3v1. And now all down to hip. The frenzies are just too difficult to deal with. Somehow <laughs> Artist will take himself out of the conversation. Uh, but it's a round one here for G2. Yeah, I've thrown you under the bus there with the rank joke. But most people don't realize that there are casters who have covered major events for Counter-Strike. Like CSGO majors that were Gold Nova and Silver ranked at the time. So... Rank doesn't mean much when it comes to what we do. We aren't playing the game for a reason. We're talking about it because we suck. <laughs> like, that's just the nature of the beast. If we were good, we'd be playing. That's why we're here. It's a five on three as the entry kills went their direction. Pith with an unexpected operator coming in here from G2, and it works out quite nicely for him. As NIP don't really seem to have a solution. Obviously, the buy coming in from them was less than stellar. It's pistols working out here for I NIP, exactly and uh, you can see who it's come down to. It's a rhyme right around the corner as the neural theft comes through. They all want to go for their hunt. Look how thirsty they are for these eco kills. My goodness. Whoever's on the opposite side of this screen wall, and it's just Pith with the operator, going to probably double back for that spike. Down to just two now on the defense. Hip. And the Cypher. Hip goes for the peak, and the Leer ends up working out really well for him. The Spike now moving back towards this A site. As the clock ticks down lower and lower, that wall just about to break. The Sage coming through. Does he time this right? Yes, he does. Hip continues to hold that line. Dismisses into that territory to go for a Jiggle Peak with the Dismiss, so he can't get shot in case there was an attempted trade coming out. Pit now on the operator in sight with 15 seconds left. Has to dedicate to the plant. The wall's been broken, so there's no safety from TV. You can see the push already comes through. The Cypher up in heaven currently using his cam to try and spy out the location of Pit, who's on the site and now revealed with a dart. And he's going to get spammed through exactly as you'd expect it to end. That round started out promising for G2, but it's turned around by NIP. 4v4, only one ultimate available per team. It's... Showstopper and the Blade Storm, respectively. But G2, they really want to be a part of this A side push. And Korea waiting in the back corner. It's the Showstopper that'll just decimate them all. The explosion is too difficult for G2 to really push forward. Korea will find one through the maps. David P will be successful. But does he have enough time to plant? Just barely. And now going to put himself up on a boost. One of the walls has already been broken or unfortunately just really weirdly placed. David P is kind of. Scratching his head, swing around the corner. No way you win the duel against the op. Off on the defense, and they kept it even, 6-6. Six, six. Now that we're on attack, G2 is in the lead, and they're continuing that lead on a map that's defender-sided on the opposite side. So I just think it's a playstyle differential between these two teams. Um, and when I speak of playstyle differential, I'm going to wait for that clip to go on Reddit as Artis eats a face full of showstopper of his own, and now... It's G2 that have control of the A site. It's a three on three, NIP. Or three on four, excuse me. The heal coming through as one was so close to death, it looked like they actually were dead. The shots over top of that box just can't quite connect. Putting the Sage down very close to that fatal point. And even with that, David P is still going to manage to drop out the opposing Sage. Pith picking off one as well. This retake's not working out so well at all for NIP. It's down to one and one only. And on the site, he will fall. Firoth couldn't get around that wall, a peculiar wall that came up that allowed him to survive that much longer. Look like they have the weaponry to play, so they may be looking towards a future round. And you'll notice on the eco, they're playing it a little bit closer. So Pith might find himself one, might find himself two. The shotgun not going to connect. Still looking for the next opportunity as he pushes back in. Firoth will find himself an upgrade. It's the Phantom with the bunny skin on the side. And now we'll see how this retake happens for NIP. The T Tech times it so nicely as they jump across. Gonna line them up there with the rifle. It's down to just one left, 
and it's Rhyme. Not able to do much, and towards mid, Hip gets behind that box. Did he get there fast enough? That's the question. It, you can see they're kind of leaning in that direction. There's the bomb buddy to lead them in. Oh, the Leer comes out, but no, it gives away his position. As a result, it doesn't actually help. So now it's on the Cypher, who's over in this B site. He's trying to use their one way. Rhyme goes for the cam shot, and at that point, taken out. It's all up to Kriya, and there's a wall down in his path. It's looking like G2 is going to take things here. 2-1 over NIP and guarantee their pick in the semifinals on Sunday. And that's exactly what's going to, or on Saturday, excuse me, tomorrow.